Also in tonight's programme, the poignant diaries of an art student who was murdered in Sussex 40 years ago have been brought to life in a new play. Nine years after the art student Jessie Earl disappeared from her Eastbourne flat nearly 40 years ago, her body was discovered in undergrowth on Beachy Head. She'd been murdered. Her killer has never been found. It was only after that she'd gone that her devastated family discovered that she'd been keeping pages and pages of diaries over the course of her 22 years. Now those diaries are being used in a play about her short life that's to be performed in the town where she lived. Sarah Smith has tonight's story update. I've always written down my thoughts for as long as I can remember. It is a way of recording my day-to-day -day life and it also helps me to see clearly what I think and feel. The story of a young woman starting out in life but who'd already built up an impressive body of work. The play mixes Jessie Earle's own writings, only discovered after her death, with the words of her parents. And 30 years since her remains were finally discovered at Beachy Head, Val and John Earle hope people will see their daughter again, not just the murder victim. What I thought of was the beautiful things that Jessie had written, descriptions, somebody else will be hearing. You know, she wrote lovely descriptions of being on the beach and running into the sea and all those things. And What I like is the idea, too, that um, in her short life, Jess never had the chance to show the world what she could do. And in a way, this does it. Pat Davis already knew the Earl family when she wrote this as a radio play. Sarah Cheeseman heard it and knew she wanted to bring it to the stage. I wanted to show Jessie as the young, vibrant woman that she was, uh, with everything in front of her, everything there for her, that was taken away. But I wanted to show her, her personality, yeah. uh, which comes through her diaries. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But you'll go away from this not seeing Jessie the victim, you'll go away from this seeing Jessie the person mm. and their family. Yeah. It's Jessie's short life, isn't Jess it? Yeah. yeah. Jessie's killer has never been identified, but her parents' focus has never been on him, only her and the voice that still comes through her writing. She is now capable of making me laugh aloud. I can read something from the diary and it, it's terrific, you know. Mm. Mm. Created from those diaries, Someone, Somewhere will run at the Lamb in Eastbourne from the 9th to the 14th of March. Sarah Smith, BBC South East Today.